Space bunts! Space bunts! <laughs> I wonder also, did I want this? I think that's probably a good spot. Yeah. Boop, 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 boop. I have reorganized my soaping area and I have a big tall table that I am on. I'm very tall. I feel very short and small as I'm sitting at it, but I kind of like it because then I can stand and still be kind of in frame and all of those things. Buns, 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 buns. I suppose before we do much, so I already said that we weren't gonna do a fragrance and so I am debating about color. I don't know though. Rainbows kind of sounds fun and in the pot swirl rainbow. So like the base would be like uncolored, would just be like soap color, which for us with the goat milk ends up being kind of like a like off-white, which wouldn't be bad, especially if we had a lot of colors swirled through it. Hmm. <laughs> and we could even use some of our new glitter that I don't think I've gotten to use yet. And you know how I feel about glitter. It's, um, it's positive. I'm pro glitter. I'm pro, well, particularly I'm pro eco glitter that's not made of tiny little plastics that will, you know, choke turtles and stuff. But we know we're going to have castor oil, 3.3 ounces. <laughs> Here. And then I think the last oil we need is just some shea butter. Some butter of the shea. But yes, okay, here comes the loud part while I mix up all of our oils. Enjoy the ASMR of emulsion. <laughs> Set this to the side and I already got my milk I already measured out our milk and I had like because I'm actually I am at a point at the moment where I need to like defrost some of my mason jars of frozen milk and then put it into my cubes all right let's add our lye and then while we give that a moment just to like kind of get started and it's processing we're gonna put some oils in these guys these guys and I'm just gonna do a little bit of olive oil so when we add our colorant it's not too powdery so I don't want to add too much <laughs> I love the tiny blender it is my favorite okay so for our colors I think I want Voodoo and Tangerine Dream, Bright Yellow Raincoat. I think I want to do Envy, Twilight, and Pow Pow Purple. And I'm just going to keep sort of stirring, making sure all that lye is getting well mixed. And it is doing a good job. And we're starting to get a little bit warmer, so we gotta move, move fast. Mm -hmm. oh. Well, actually, I think I'm gonna wait to do the colors until we get our soap put together because this is going fast and I don't want our lye to. Because as you can see, like we're yellow, which isn't bad, it just means that it's warmer than I normally like. So I'd like to get it into the oil. And we are going to start adding our colors. Making sure I actually get the colors in the right order, which as we know is a problem I have. <laughs> Regularly. 
for some reason, I just, I get on the struggle bus when it comes to doing that right. I just get all excited and I'm like, red first, Roy G. Biv, and then red ends up on the bottom. Oh my gosh, this blue is killer. It is so good. That's Twilight. I just love that. It just feels like, it feels very like real royal blue. Changing my plan. And I'm going to just pour. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Little blender. Help me. <laughs> okay. We're still good. I like how I was like, oh, it's gonna be great because I'm not using fragrance oil, so I'll have time to do all the things. I don't have time. I never have time. <laughs> Let's be real. Okay. This will be interesting. I'm still gonna try the in the pot swirl. I'm curious if we can do it. <laughs> hmm. I'm definitely moving a little bit faster than I anticipated. I'm thinking I might have blended it too much and then let it sit. So I think if I stir it, yeah, it goes back to its like more liquidy, like whatever, but that's okay. Oh, my poor little stick blender is like, uh, this is more than I can do. Stick blender! Oh my goodness. I believe in you, tiny stick blender. I believe in you! Little explosion of green there. Okay. Let's see. Little blender, I choose you. This is why we wear gloves. This is why we wear gloves. <laughs> I'm also really interested to see how this yellow from Mad Micah's comes out, because I haven't used it yet. And yellows, as we know, are always so finicky. <laughs> it looks like forbidden frosting. It really does. And again, I will say, as we always say, when we make soap that looks delicious. Do not eat. <laughs> Do not eat the soap, no matter how good it looks. <laughs> this will be one that will be really fun to cut too, because we'll get to like really see something, something exciting. <laughs> oh, that's how I feel about my soap making, is it's always something exciting, right? Hmm, I'm gonna put a little bit off the top of that. All right, my plan, I think, is I'm just gonna like start kind of scooping it in and seeing what's gonna happen. It kind of looks like when you like melt a bunch of crayons. I don't know. And then I'm gonna like try to, oh, I'm gonna probably grab my spatula to like spoosh it down. Spoosh it down is a word, right? We'll add some more of the white. Hmm. I don't want to like spread so much that I end up getting brown is my big that's my only concern at this point because I know I can get this down into the mold but I don't want it to like I want to try and keep some of that striation of colors we shall see we shall see Hmm. You're definitely getting an interesting effect. I wonder, okay. I wanna check, oh my gosh, we are totally not down in that lower part. Hmm. I'm gonna try and tap it. I don't know if tapping it is gonna make much of a difference at this point, but I'm gonna try. BRB. Ooh, okay, okay. I'm not mad at that. Nope. <laughs> I wonder if I can just get this big clunk in there. Get in there. <laughs> All right. And then 
Let's scrape this bad boy. It is scraping pretty good at least. All right, ready, sploosh, squish, 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 squish. <laughs> and some more squish, and some more squish. up our edges a little let's get out some glitters it's glitter time time for glitter the top ended up being pretty purple okay but look at this weird like we've got like some really interesting sort of like chunky I think I can even like hold it like the bottom of this I I am very curious to see what we end up with on Saturday when we cut. But in the meantime, we've got our Into the Mystic Holographic Eco Glitter. We've got our Spellbound, which I really love. And I think it's gonna be really pretty on the top of this. All right, and then we'll adding some hollow because it's not a tote soap if there's no holographic glitter. Well, especially when it's gonna be a weird soap like this. Like, it needs... I need some hello. Hello, hello. Okay, let's get this baby out of the mold. I am so curious. We used six different Mad Micah's colors to try and get like a rainbow effect. My goal was originally to do an in the pot swirl, but that ended up not quite working out. And so, can you come out? Ready? So we ended up doing basically the spoon plop method, method, and we did a lot of tapping, so I'm hoping we don't have too many holes. That's my biggest concern when soap processes that quickly, is that we end up with holes. And there are a few, but not too bad considering. Ooh. Oh my goodness. I am excited! Still pretty soft, the texture is good, but we definitely like the butt has some holes on it. And there's a few holes on the bottom here. But, oh my gosh, look at that. That's just the butt. Ooh, she's thick, she's thick boy. She's got all the pronouns. I mean, she is rainbow after all. Ready, bop, bop. But, I am a little obsessed with this. So like not scented, so it's nice like, it just like, I don't even know how to describe what unscented goat milk soap smells like, cause it's it just smells like soap, but look at this. Oh my gosh. Like, ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, ready for this? I don't know if I'm ready. Look at that. So this one does have a little bit of holes in it, but it's not too bad, and so it's not gonna like degrade this up too much. But like, look at these, all the marbling here, like, oh my gosh. What I like about this too is like, there's enough of the like uncolored pieces that like, you'll still get some running of colors when you wash with it, like you would with any brightly pigmented soaps, but you're, it's not gonna be quite as bad, I think, because we have so much, but like, oh my gosh. This one just is giving me like, almost like landscape vibes somehow. And then on the other side, I just, I love it. And like, I even like, like the bottoms are all like really colorful. Colorful bottoms, colorful tops, colorful sides. Bum, bum, bum. Ooh, <laughs> look at this one. This one is like super primary colors. 
Thank you for that applause, Eve. But like, I just love like the reds and blues and yellows here. It's like, and then on the other side, the soap did a really good job of like packing down. Look at this, like so many colors, so many colors. I think on this side of the bar, I think we got every single color because there's even like tiny little bits of purple. So this bar had, has all six of the colors plus the uncolored white area. And then we have our little volcano backside of it. I just love these so, so much. Here, let's make it so we can see a few of them. So we've got the little volcano one, got this one. Technicolor marble really does work well because it's marble, it's got all these bright colors, it is so, so, so cute. My legs are falling asleep, oh no, oh no, my leg is asleep, oh no, ah, 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 I have been consumed by the soap and my pins and needles feet, ah, okay. <laughs> Congratulations to Ains. If that is something that you are interested in, if you like our soaps, if you have had them before, I am so excited for our soap. Thank you again to Ains for naming it, for hanging out with the goats, with Kristoff, who is becoming a little rude man. Cannot believe. Uh, you can follow me on all of my socials, all of those things, and I will see you guys very, very soon. Goodbye. Mm.